Bluetooth here is March 25th, Thursday, today's economic event. Japan, Tokyo CPI release, US FOMC member speak, GDP initial jobless claim release. Yesterday, Malaysia February CPI release, 0.1% up year over year, but just below the focus. Thailand uh, keep interest ratio as a 0.5%, same as the focus, but they cut the GDP outlook from 3.2 to 3%. US, US durable goods orders for February decrease uh, from the January 1.1%. Share of the total population that received at least one vaccine dose, Singapore 13.2%, up 3.8% per week. US 25.1%, 0.3% up from yesterday, Japan is 0.5%. Two news came to Singapore is a vaccination now open to Singapore residents aged 45 to 59. Second news is that up to 75% of staff can return to office from April 5th, as previously the 50%. Equity side, STI index was close 3133, basically flat. Daily firm, also Hong Kong run, today is the ex dividend day. JSH showed up to the 33%, SATS showed up to the 36%, SATS, SIA, Gentin, those reopening stock uh, came off about 2%. Yanjia shipbuilding up 3%. Five companies did the share buyback. OUE, uh, they resumed the share buyback last time, the March 5th. OCBC, five consecutive days with a 300k shares. Yesterday, Asia stock is a more than 2% down for the China H, Hansen Nikkei. More than 1% down is the Shanghai, Shenzhen, India BSE, and the Indonesia. Up only three market: Malaysia, Philippines, Thailand. Yesterday, U.S. stock all down, especially Nasdaq down 2%, last year 2000 down 2.3%. U.S. sector stocks, uh, sector performances yesterday, energy up 2%, is a communication services consumer cyclical uh, down more than 2%. Future this morning for the U.S. stock commodity, Dow, S&P, Nasdaq go up. Yesterday, uh, you know, crude oil prices changed a lot from the $57 range to the $60 range. Is Why is the oil price rebound on the third canal blockage and the positive U.S. inventory data? So U.S. inventory data show that domestic fuel consumption is at the highest in the four months. And also work to refloat a giant vessel that blocking the Suez Canal is suspended until Thursday. So currency side, one Singapore 0.742 US dollars, 3.06 Malaysian ringgit, 80.76 Japanese yen, 4.84 Chinese yen, basically flat except the USD. Singapore dollar depreciate against USD. US dollar index the 92.59 is up. Interest rate is the three month cyber 43.6 base point, no change. Singapore government bond yields a 10 year 1.59%, basically flat. US 10 year treasury note 1.617%. It went down. Private property home loan in Singapore is a 14, no change 1.03%. But fixed one is a little came off 1.14%. Thanks for company. Have a good deal and a good day.